how does faith come to begin with? Good, good. Y'all, y'all, y'all were here. Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing, hearing God's word. Continuously. Romans 10, 17. Faith comes. That means faith wasn't here. If I'm right here and faith is coming, that means faith is not here. It's somewhere else. But if I'm hearing, it's on its way to me. Faith comes by hearing, not seeing. Faith comes by hearing, not feeling. Faith comes by hearing. Yes, not thinking. Faith comes by hearing. Yes, and hearing doesn't stop. And hearing. And hearing and hearing what? The word of God. That's where you get God's faith. How's a person born again? They hear. The God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, not who God chooses, but whosoever receives him, believes him, puts their faith in him, shall not perish but have everlasting life. They heard God's word. They chose to be a whosoever and what? Believe that. Right? Because that word carries faith. Then it, they heard it and it got into their heart. And it produced faith in them, and they were changed. And now they're in a position they should continue living. It started in faith, you gotta continue living in faith. And and to continue living in faith, you need to keep hearing the word of God. To continue living in God's faith, you're gonna have to continue to hear, continuously hear God's word. You can think on it, you can memorize it, but you're gonna have to continue to what? Hear it good to read it, but you're going to have to continuously hear it. I know you're used to these things. That's not like a new, new, new scripture for you, and praise God for it, but pay attention then. It's, it's this little stuff people let drop. Amen? Now, so if God's word, the word carries what? Faith. Find the word, the promise of God. Find the word of God. God's word is promised to you. Find the word of God that is the answer to your situation. That's it. That's it. Then tell it to yourself. (laughs) Repeatedly. Because we spent time talking about how faith works. Now, Mark 11 tells us how to use it. Romans 10, starting verse 8, 9, 10 tells us how it works. Faith comes by hearing. It's in your mouth. Not hearing somebody else say it, per se, but, you know, where's the word of God? It's in your mouth. It's near you. It's even in your mouth. The word of faith, the word of, it's the word of faith. It's, no wonder it's the word of faith, which we preach. It's in your mouth and in your heart. It has to be in your mouth first. You have to be saying it so you hear it, so it can be deposited into your heart. Then you'll believe it, and then you'll speak it. So God's word carries faith. And if you're going to live by faith, you're going to have to find God's word that answers your situation and continuously speak it to yourself. No, no. Before you talk to the situation or anything else, I know Jesus said talk to mountains and but he already had faith. He was telling you how to use it. Romans is telling you how it works. Because you have to have some faith before you're going to use it. And too many people will run out there and start talking to stuff, but they don't have the faith. And so it's not doing anything. You're just talking at this thing, and it's just falling down. It's falling down. It's, fa- it's having no impact on your situation. This is, okay, this is why people cast away their faith, their confidence, because they went out there half-cocked. They went out there, and they start saying God's word. It's something. And if they could wait two seconds and don't come to pass, they keep saying it. And if uh, by a miracle of God, two months later, they, they keep saying it, but they cast, you know, however long. It could be two years. But if there comes a point where they say, oh, I'm done. Well, they were never strong to begin with, according to the word. In other words, they were never in faith to begin with. That's why I gave you the illustration of what I do to begin with. 
forever and a day. Because I'm not going to base my existence or yours either, God, on this. <laughs> mm. Y'all getting this? So find that word. But here's what people, they keep speaking at the thing. Well, it, just, it just falls off like, like this. Like if you threw water at this thing, it's going to fall on the ground. It's not going to penetrate. But what people don't realize, so then they, two years, whatever, 20 years later, they throw away their faith. It didn't work. I spoke that thing for 10 years. But what you should have known was happening is you were hearing. <laughs> which, you, which is what you should have been doing to begin with. It wasn't working here. Y'all with me? I know y'all making noise, but it wasn't working here, but where was it working? Where should you have been paying attention to it working? In here. And, And it was having some effect, but I'm looking, the person was looking the wrong place. Are you getting this? And that's why they, ah, and they throw it away and jack themselves up because the enemy just held out long enough to make that thing not to interfere, to distract, to keep it long enough for you to deceive yourself, to throw it away. Because he can't beat you. That's not him beating you. That's you quitting. So don't miss the steps. You, you, and it's not like I just tell myself I'm ready to stand forever in a day. No, I've, I've, told, I've, I've been in the word. And I've told myself the word again and again and again and again because faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing God's word. Are you with me? And I find the word to answer my situation and I discuss it. I tell myself, self, and then I renew my mind with it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And then when I, you know what? Okay, I'm convinced. Then you start. Be gone. And it's going to answer you back make me move well God let me tell you and now you are declaring the word God said in that day you shall ask me nothing Jesus said ask the father yourself in my name and he will give it or he will grant it oh you you want to go you want to go you want to try this who told you to move me and God if you don't want to move for him I'm sure you will or for me I'm sure you will for him you have no choice in the matter. Now shut up and don't ask me back another day of your life. Another moment of your existence. You are here to serve me. All of creation is waiting for me to show up like this. Read your word. Romans 8. But people run out there spitting God's word and get, casting out the confidence of it because they don't see evidence. Your faith is the evidence. Not you seeing. 